Hey, welcome to Scale Model Addict. That sucked. Okay, I'm gonna get funny. I'm gonna turn on the funny. It's time to turn on the funny. <laughs> So this week on Scale Model Addict, we are going to light up the eyes of the at at and I'll walk you through how I do lighting. Thanks for tuning into the program. <laughs> it's not a program, it's just a video. Okay, so this week we're going to light up the red eyes on the at at Now I remind everybody I'm no expert. Let's get that right out of the way at first. This is just the way I do it, the way I've kind of figured it out so far. My only previous experience is uh, wiring the X-Wings and moving a couple boxes inside of this cave. So uh, take everything with a grain of salt or a cup of sugar or a teaspoon of milk or whatever it is. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to run you through the tools and the supplies that I'm using to put one single LED light into this ad ad. And while I kind of take inventory of what I'm using, it's kind of ridiculous to be honest with you. Yeah. I get some wire, kind of small gauge. I get some heat shrink tubing, kind of small. I get some uh, stripper things, some rosin core solder. I have the old uh, fancy schmancy soldering gun. Got some helping hands over there. I've got a little switch that I paid six bucks for two. Uh, I've got epoxy, Abe's epoxy sculpt that I'm going to be using. I've also got the metal from a floppy disk. Remember those? <laughs> Probably not. And I've got a light. Ding! These came from the dollar store. You put them on your fingers. It was 99 cents. Oh, you gotta pull out this. But basically you get a uh, LED and batteries. So this cost uh, about a quarter. And if I seem to use anything else along the way, I'll mention it then. Okay, let's get started. So, we basically, trying to hold this together, we got the head, and the neck, and the body. So we basically have to go from there to there. So I'm going to cut two lengths of wire, long enough to make a mistake. Okay, so now kind of a demolition. I've got this little light. And uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do is take this apart and then we're going to see the batteries fly all over the place. And then we're going to have to figure out a way to fix that. You notice on that LED, there's one uh, wire, whatever they're called, longer than the other. The longer one is positive, okay? The longer one's positive. And on these little, uh, I don't know what they're called, pill batteries, okay? The flat, shiny side is positive. Plus, it, there's a plus on it. That's how I knew that. But this is important stuff to know. So before we go any further, we can solder the uh, black and red wires to the LED and just get that out of the way. So I'm going to cut two little pieces of, uh, what's that called? Heat shrink. Keeps everything nice and tidy. Okay. We're going to take our black wire. Let me zoom out. Okay. I'm going to take the black wire and the LED and we'll just kind of wind it around there. The idea with soldering is you heat up the wire and then you just touch it with the resin and poof. I know that's the way you're supposed to do it. And uh, from what Model Man Tom showed me, you're also supposed to kind of clean the tip of your gun by just knocking it with some solder. So I'm gonna try that. There's a fancy word for that too. Let's call it cauterizing. Ooh. I 
Okay, you gotta be careful where that stuff drips because it's like molten lava. Uh, the heat shrink try not to burn your hands because it's well it's easy to do what do you know you put heat on it and it shrinks there you go oh by the way three weeks no smoking not too bad Okay, I just took some Tamiya tape and made a little bale out of my three little batteries. And we'll just see if it works so far. So far, so good. Now, we're going to have to have a solution for holding this in place. A solution for a switch. And uh, some way to mount it into the head so that it doesn't move all over the place. And there's still a few things to do. Okay, first up is the switch. We're going to... Put a switch in here somewhere. The switch has three poles on it. Or are they called terminals or poles? I'm not sure. We'll call them terminals. I got three terminals, okay? And it's just, well, for me, I can't read the diagrams. And I don't think there might have been a diagram. I don't know. So I'm just going to cut my red wire, the hot, and just kind of figure out how it works. Yeah, I don't know gonna get that switch in there that's going to interrupt the red line the hot line the positive um, so let's interrupt it got the switch and we just cut our red wires and through trial and error because you really can't hurt anything uh, this there and that there come on this here and that one there and it doesn't work okay let's turn it around That there and that there. Okay, it worked a minute ago. Okay, now I got it. Okay, if things don't work at first, don't freak out. There we go. It's the middle one. Yeah, beep, 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 beep. Not being very funny. Hopefully I'll edit some cool music into this video to make it a little more interesting. 